and welcome to a new episode about using FreeCAD to generate G-code for the CNC. In this video I'm going to show you a couple of tricks to speed things up to make things much faster using the exactly same operations but changing some parameters in order to make the CNC work faster. But before that of course I have to thank my sponsors which is you watching, liking my videos, sharing them, commenting on them and of course the ones that support me through my Patreon page. If you want to subscribe you can find the link in the description. If you don't feel like subscribing yet you can also find two products a one time small help a three dollar thank you and a ten dollar thank you any help is greatly appreciated so thank you let's show you the tricks to speed things up one situation that i have encountered a lot of times is when having several features like these two faces so let's go to the job i will hide the body and show the model that's the default behavior i have modified something on the body that's why it was reversed so let's select the two faces by holding ctrl down create a new mill face operation i will change the pattern to zigzag offset in order to have the edge of the face correctly milled i will leave the step over to 50 percent and i will have to change the boundary shape from bound box to face region you will see why if i leave it to bound box it will mill the entire box containing all the faces that i have selected so if i want to mill just these two faces i have to to change the boundary shape to face region this is another little thing very important and sometimes it's pretty difficult to discover how to do this so keep that in mind if you need it sometime later and after setting the operation let's click on ok and go to the simulator to the new simulator and see what happens for each cut for each layer it moves from one face to the other which will result in a lot of lost time let's close the simulator and take a look at the job the total time now is 2 minutes 21 seconds with the current settings for the mill face operation so let's make it faster let's look again at the cycle time it's 2 minutes 21 seconds change the keep tool down from false to true and the min travel from false to true also in just a couple of clicks i have reduced that time to 1 minute 48 seconds let's go back to the simulator and you can see that now it doesn't raise the tool bit for each of the parts of the operation for the zigzag and for the offset but it still moves from one face to the other so let's fix that too i will close the simulator for this i will use a trick that take some time to set up but depending on the situation it might save you a lot of time on the CNC so select the operation click on the copy operation in the job button and now I have two identical operations double click on the first one go to the base geometry and leave there just one of the base geometries remove the other now select the second operation go back to the base geometry and leave the second face now I have two separate operations, one for each of the faces. Let's go to the job and I now have 1 minute 34 seconds. So with the tricks that I've shown you, changing the keep tool down, the min travel and splitting the operation into two, I have reduced an operation that was taking 2 minutes 23 seconds to just 1 minute 34 seconds. It's not too much, it's less than a minute, but if you look at it as percentage, it's a huge gain and for much more complex operations, it will save a lot of time. So remember whenever you have separate faces if the tool bit keeps on moving from one face to the other split the operation select in each of the operations one of the faces and everything will be much faster so now let's move on delete these two mill face operations let's select these three pockets i will hold ctrl down and as you would expect i will create a pocket shape operation with the default settings it looks like this and now i will click ok let's go to the pocket shape operation it's 3 minutes 35 seconds but this operation is far from the ideal operation because there will be a lot of unmilled material we should at least change the zigzag to zigzag offset i will click on apply and now the shape should be exactly as i want let's take a look it is 8 minutes and 9 seconds so now let's reduce this time as i've shown you in the mill face operation you can scroll down change the keep tool down let me just scroll a little bit up so you can see also the cycle time so change the keep tool down to true and the min travel to true i now have a 5 minutes 49 operation instead of 8 minutes 9 seconds so it's already a pretty good gain now let's make things faster double click on the operation go to the pattern and change it from zigzag offset to offset 
and now I have a cycle time of 3 minutes 30 seconds which is faster than the zigzag but both examples have been using a setting that most probably won't end up in good results. I'm talking about the step over percent which usually should be not larger than 80% in order to have some step over when the toolbit moves and cuts so you won't have any lines remaining. So if I change the step over percent to 80 I have a cycle time of 5 minutes 36 so it's not a big increase but if I change the pattern to zigzag offset you will see that the cycle time now is 6 minutes and 15 seconds so when you reduce the step over percent you make several passes the offset will be much faster than the zigzag offset the third tip that I'm going to show you is something that is incredibly powerful should be very powerful for now it doesn't work as it should in most of the situations let me show you what I'm talking about I will edit this pocket shape operation and I will check the use outline in order to mill the entire surface of this pocket let's inactivate this operation and for this bottom hole I will create a new pocket operation of course let's change it also to offset let's set a step over of 50 click on apply this operation will start milling from the top of the stock which is a normal behavior but if I enable the first pocket operation here you can see in lighter green the second operation the one for the smaller hole you can easily see that they overlap they overlap a lot so all these lines here are going to be air time until the toolbit touches the bottom face of the first pocket because i have already milled this entire surface so how can i solve this problem well it's a new feature sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so make sure you double check everything after using this option it is called use rest machining check it for the second operation and what this option does in this situation you can see that it did what it was supposed to do it eliminates all the toolpath that has already been milled by the previous operations so if i have this operation enabled you can see when i'm hovering the second one it will just mill the bottom pocket if i disable the first operation and double click on the operation and open it again it will mill the entire stock which is a normal behavior because i have this operation disabled and nothing is milled so it is normal in order to reach to the bottom to mill all this surface before reaching there if i turn on again the first operation and I double click and close again the second operation this probably will be solved soon when enabling and disabling the previous operations the operation that uses rest machining should of course be recalculated this doesn't happen now so you have to take care to double click on it open it and click on ok so it recalculates or simply right click and recompute object but you have to take into account that the rest machining doesn't always work as intended let me show you what doesn't work double click on the first operation change the pattern from zigzag offset to offset leaving everything as is click on the apply button click on ok now double click on the second operation to make it recompute and the unexpected has happened the rest machining option is no longer useful hide this operation i won't disable it i will hide it you can see some pretty odd behavior it mills the outside from the top of the stock with a pretty weird shape here and the center portion considers it milled by the first operation but not the outside of the hole i'm not sure why it does it most probably it will be fixed soon but whenever using the rest machining operation you have to take care it doesn't generate useless air time and you also have to take care because i have encountered some situations when rest machining simply doesn't mill anything so make sure you double check the toolpath after each modification in the job you have to open the operation that is using rest machining or the simpler solution whenever modifying an operation right click on the group and click on recompute object it will recompute all the operations it's the safest way of doing things sometimes i have to use offset instead of zigzag offset because it's faster so how do i solve this well i will edit the second operation uncheck the rest machining click on apply now it's a simple operation from the top of the stock i will go to the depth tab select the face that is going to start to mill and click on the arrow next to start depth now i can click apply 
click on OK and if I hover this operation you can see it's exactly as it was in the first situation when REST machining was working but this solution also has some downsides because let's say I'm reordering the operations be it intentional or by mistake and now if I export the job this will be the first operation that is going to be milled this most probably will result in some disaster in a broken tool bit so make sure you don't accidentally change the places of the operations make sure you double check everything everything if you use this solution i hope the rest machining will work properly very soon because it's the much safer way and the final workaround the final trick that i'm going to show you to make things faster in different situations is when using helix to cut holes in a body i have modified the body i have a situation that can be encountered a lot of times i have various holes with various diameters various depths following each other in a pattern you can see here I have a hole which is 10 millimeters deep with a 10 millimeters diameter and a hole 7 millimeters deep with a 15 millimeters diameter and they keep on repeating for example for a piece of furniture where I have to make these kind of holes for holding the shelves or for hardware for this kind of holes I prefer to use the end mill and use a helix operation because I can now group everything together in just a single run of the CNC I can mill these holes if I have some pockets I can also mill those pockets and with the same tool bit without changing everything or stopping the machine i can also cut the outline so it's a great advantage if you ask me using a helix for such holes in furniture pieces let me create the helix operation if i click on apply you can see that it adapts to the diameter of each hole very easily but there will be a problem if i take a look from the side the deeper holes aren't going to be milled entirely because the helix operation has only one final depth which is the smallest of all the holes so if i want to solve this problem i have to go to the base geometry i will select all the holes with 50 millimeters in diameter click on the remove button click on the apply and now you can see that all the 10 millimeters holes are selected and because they are all the same depth it will go all the way the cutter bit will go all the way repeat the same procedure for the other holes the 15 millimeters diameter holes create a new helix and go to the base geometry where it will be automatically populated with all the holes that are on the body let's delete the 10 millimeters holes select them click on the remove button and now i have the second operation for these holes now everything seems okay but if i go to the simulator you can see it mills a hole, moves all the way to the second smaller hole, so on, goes all the way to the end of the body, moves back and does the same thing for the larger holes. This can be pretty time consuming depending on the situation, on the dimensions of the material, of the number of different diameter holes. If you have four diameter holes, it will make four full passes and it's not really a good thing. So how can I fix this to mill the first hole, then move to the second one, then move to the third one? one and so on without having to skip them so click on the close button let's check the job time the total job time is 25 seconds so the difference won't be too much in number of seconds but in percentage you will see a pretty big difference and now there are two situations all these holes are equally spaced apart it's the easiest thing i'm going to show you in just a couple of seconds how you can easily do that and then we will cover the situation when the holes aren't equally spaced apart so if they are equally spaced apart such as in this case double click on the helix operation go to the base geometry select the faces make sure the first one is a little greener and select all the other holes and click on the remove button now i have a helix only for this hole now let's select the second helix let's do the same thing let's make sure the first in the list is the first here it is remove all the other click on the ok button and now select them both click on this button which is array i have one two three four five repetitions so i will write here five copies i still have to write an offset the easiest way to find out the offset is go to the linear patterns where i have created this repetitive holes in the part design workbench and i will see here an offset of 60 millimeters make sure for the second hole it's the same offset 60 millimeters go to the array open the offset category change the x offset to 60 millimeters and now even though it looks a little bit weird because from the end of the second hole it will move here 
in FreeCAD it appears that the array is starting from the origin but it is not it has a cycle time of six seconds which is not true it's not going to be such a huge difference the cycle time in a job doesn't take into account the array you can see that i don't have all that useless movement so if the holes are equally spaced apart this is a very quick way of grouping things together and repeating them using an array if the holes aren't equally spaced apart which might happen sometimes i'm not going to change them now but let's say they are not equally spaced apart how can i do this well if i have to mill just one piece like this one here it's not worth it simply go the old way select the holes create the helixes but if you have 20 identical panels such as in my situation as i've told you i have made some kitchen cabinets and i had to middle a lot of holes in a lot of boards which were identical two minutes for each board meant a lot of time in the end so select each of the helix operations copy the operation it really doesn't matter which of the helix operations you are copying it will automatically adapt to the dimensions of the hole so double click on the helix operation go to base geometry remove the face that was already there select the walls or the bottom it doesn't really matter of the hole that is going to be next click on the apply button select the last helix operation duplicate it again so you have all the settings if you have changed the start side the step over the step down everything will be the same if you copy the operation go back to the base geometry remove the face select the next hole click on add and this way even if in the preview it appears that it moves to the origin it won't it will just drill the first hole then the second one the third one and so on of course you have to take care the operations have to be in the order that you want them to mill if you're not satisfied with that you can drag them around if you're using freecut 0.22 and i recommend you start using it soon it is going to become the freecut 1.0 official release so get used to it it still has some bugs but most of the things work okay and of course a lot of the bugs will be solved in the near future so now i have created all these operations if i go to the job i have a cycle time of 41 seconds it it seems a little bit longer than the initial setup but it's not true because it takes into account all this movement from the origin which is what i've tried to overcome using this method it took me around five minutes to set everything up if it's just for one job it's not worth it so remember that whenever you have to do some things that are going to be in a large number with the same layout making this will help you a lot you can also save a lot of time with another trick double click on the job go to the setup tab go to the default values i will reduce the safe and clear on offset to just four millimeters because along the line of the holes i'm not going to have any clamp anything that might hit the tool bit click on the ok button and now you can see a cycle time of 29 seconds take into account that it doesn't have this movement to the origin so most probably it's going to be less than 20 seconds this is a small piece a 30 centimeters piece if you have a one meter two meter long piece seconds can add up a lot using these little tricks you might save a lot of time in the next episode i'm going to show you some tricks some optimization tricks for the quality of the cut for the helix to get a proper dimension for the pocket the profiling to get smoother surfaces but until then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you want you can also subscribe to my patreon page if you don't feel like subscribing yet but still want to give me a little help you can anytime buy one of the two products the one time thank you the three dollar one time thank you and the ten dollar one time big thank you that's all for today thank you for watching this video i hope those little tricks that i've shown you in this video will help you save a lot of time when making things on the cnc using free